What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Ron, back with DFS Greatness. I'm here to give you great lineups, great picks. Let's have a great night, man. We got a lovely slate. Week 15, man. The season's flying by. Man, it's almost over. Hopefully, all you guys made it to your fantasy playoffs, the championship. I got to buy one of my leagues. You know, I put a fantastic team together. So, I'm just going to take it easy this Sunday. Um, let's get to it, man. Before I start this video, if you like the content, like what you see, hit the subscribe button and like the page. Let's get to it. At the quarterback position, man, you got Pat Mahomes and Russell Wilson, the um, highest quarterbacks on DK, man. But the guys I really like, I like um, Jameis Winston at 6,900, averaging 23.2 fantasy points a game going against Detroit Lions. Give about the seven most fancy points to quarterbacks. Um, he's averaging 23.2 fancy points a game with 4.1 rush attempts. The Lions have allowed a quarterback to drop 20 fancy points a game, man. That's the average. So a pretty terrible defense. Nothing to be scary of. Um, no Mike Evans. I like Godwin, man. That guy's a um, stud. So I definitely like having James Winston stacked up to um, him. Um, James Winston probably be like 5% on. A lot of people will not play him today. But, you know, I'm going to have some shares of James Winston. I mean, he might be bad. But at the end of the day, he come out the blue, throw three or four touchdowns. That's my guy. And you got Deshaun Watson. 68 on FanDuel. I mean, 68 on DraftKings and 82 on FanDuel. He's averaging 30.3 points a game in three games against the Tennessee Titans. Um, I like him a lot, man. Um, I think Will Fuller will be back today playing, so I like him and DeAndre Hopkins against the Tennessee Titans. That's just the highest total of the game. It's going to be a shootout because both of those teams do not have any defense. And $300 cheaper, you got Ryan Tannehill. Um, Tannehill averaging 19.5 fantasy points a game going against the um, Houston Texans. Houston's giving up the fifth most fantasy points per attempt to quarterbacks and the fourth most fantasy, fantasy touchdowns a game. So all that being said, man, it's going to be Tannehill getting the ball down there, man, scoring touchdowns to Texas defense. Look what happened last week to Denver. They smacked them. Um, the Texans has given up 20 fantasy points on um, the past two games to quarterbacks. They got lit up definitely last week. I did not expect that to happen, but at the end of the day, it's football. You just don't never – can't never get things right. And at 6,400, Baker Mayfield, um, I like this guy a lot, man. Averaging 14, I mean 15.8 fantasy points a game. He projected today get 17.3 fantasy points. Arizona defense has allowed the most passing yards per game. Worst defense overall, they give up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks also. So I like him a lot, man. With Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, you can stack both of those guys up and be a little different. And another quarterback I like, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's going to get his weapon back, Devontae Parker. So I like them a lot. He's averaging 15.3 fantasy points a game. The um, Giants, they terrible too. So I like him also. Jimmy G, man, that's the guy I've been playing fantastic. I mean, a lot of people doubted that paycheck. When they gave him that big old contract, he wasn't worth it. But um, he played pretty good, man, the way he's playing. They probably, probably will take him to the Super Bowl in the NFC. Um, eighth. Worst defense overall to give the third most fantasy points to quarterbacks. Um, also, he's getting um, around three rush attempts a game. Atlanta defense has allowed a total of 24 pass um, touchdowns and the third most fantasy points to quarterbacks. Atlanta's allowing the second most yards after the catch also. So I definitely like him with Debo Samuel. Stack him up and go get Emmanuel Sanders. And another quarterback if I ever go cheap, um, Kyler Murray, man, 5,600. I like him a lot. Um, averaging 20.3 fantasy points a game, getting around six rush attempts a game. They give up the 13 most fantasy points to quarterbacks. So he's projected to get 18.4 fantasy points. Cleveland defense is not nothing to be scared of. And if another quarterback, if I go cheat um, at 5,600, I like um, Phillip Rivers. He's projected to get 18.3 fantasy points a game. I mean, projected. Um, no, he's um averaging 18.3 fantasy points a game. He's projected to get 16.3 fantasy points a game. Probably be like 1% on. Last three games, 28, 18, 19. Uh, he got a lot on his shoulders. They talking about benching him. He probably will not be with the um, charge after this season because it's not working with Phillip Rivers. So um, I like him a lot because Minnesota defense did not scare me at all. So the quarterback I'm gonna um, have some exposure to, but Sean Watson, between Deshaun Watson and um Tannehill, the running back position got Christian McCaffrey sitting at ten thousand. 
the highest on running back of the day, but um, he just haven't been living up for that price tag. He hasn't been doing much. I mean, the beginning of the season when he was hitting value, but now he's just been pretty average. Um, I like Dalvin Cook. His backup is out today, so um, all the exposure to Dalvin Cook, he's going to get all the bulk of the carries. Um, projected to get 23.2 fantasy points a game, but the Chargers defense is nothing to be scared of. Um, you got 8,500 Derrick Henry. Um, I like this guy a lot today, man, but I'm just kind of nervous about this hamstring. I don't want this hamstring to flare up, and that's your lineup. So, you know, all that being said, just keep an eye on that. If he, you know, plays, you should be good, but you just don't want him to get hurt. And another running back I like is 7,700. I like Barkley a lot. Averaging 15.5 fantasy points a game. Um, He's in a fantastic matchup going against the Miami Dolphins. Ain't nothing to be scared of. They give up the second most fantasy points. I mean, got the second worst defense overall. Give up the fourth most fantasy points to running backs. Um, 15.5 fantasy points a game. 15.4 rush attempts a game. Six pass targets to a game. He's, added, he's projected 20.9 fantasy points. I do like him going against Miami Dolphins. I mean, got Eli back. Um, you know, hopefully they'll play better than last week. And Leonard Fournette, 7,700. I'm um, averaging 18.7 fantasy points a game, 6.5 pass targets, 18.1 rush attempts a game. He's going to feel 88% of the time. And um, third worst defense overall, give it the seven most fantasy points to running backs. I'm going to like the price tag. Um, he's 76 on DraftKings and 70,700 on FanDuel. So, you know, it's better, a little cheaper on DraftKings. Chris Carson, 7,500. Averaging 16.8 fantasy points a game, 18.9 rush attempts a game, 3.4 pass targets a game. I'm projected um, 18.5 fantasy points a game, 70% time on the field. They got the worst defense overall to running backs. They give up the most fantasy points to running backs and the seven worst defense overall. So Carolina defense has been pretty terrible this year. Definitely like him. Um, Panthers defense allowed 24 touchdowns, 30 fantasy points. Average already will be um, Carson will be the future back today. No Rashad Penny, so definitely like him a lot. 6300, I like Kareem Hunt a lot, averaging 14.2 fantasy points a game, 6.8 rush attempts a game, 5.4 pass targets. Hunt has scored three touchdowns in three straight games. I mean, a touchdown in three um, three straight games. Worst defense of all, with the level most fantasy points. The running backs he projected today to have 13 fantasy points. I definitely like Gurley too. Going against the Cowboys, averaging 14.4 fantasy points a game. He had a whole bunch of, like, 25-plus um, carries last week. So, I definitely like him. Going back to well with him. Phillip Lindsay, 5,600. Um, he's um, 56 on DraftKings, 64 on FanDuel. I like the um, DraftKings price. But he's been, like, the bulk here, bulk of the carries. Um, Freeman ain't really been doing much. I like Muster, too. If 5,200 going against um, Milana, their defense not that good. He's a feature back. This guy been running his ass off, been playing pretty good. And then if I go cheaper for any other running backs, I will go get Patrick Lard. Um, he's been playing pretty good, man. Giants defense allowed nine and eight receptions to um, running backs. So the Giants defense is not that good. He's a feature back. He's somewhere cheap. You can just throw in your lineup, you know. You better save some money. And you got Adrian Peterson, 4,400. I like him also. The running back. I'm just gonna give you a few plays I like. I like a little core. I'm gonna get um Shaquan Barkley, but I still got my mind on uh, Rashad. I mean, uh, well, Chris Carson. And in the receiver position today, I like um DeAndre Hopkins, eight thousand going against the Tennessee Titans. Um, eight thousand on DK, eighty six on FanDuel. Hopkins, Titans can be beat through the air. Uh, 23 DVOA versus the Titans. I mean, versus the Pairs. Um, I like him a lot. Go get him and Deshaun Watson. Stack those guys up because I feel like it's going to be a shootout. You definitely have some exposure to that one. Um, you got Chris um, Godwin, 21.1 fantasy points a game. Um, no Mike Evans. I like stacking him up with Deshaun. I mean, no James Winston. You do not sit the wrong with playing them guys together. Kenny Galladay. Um, averaging 17.5 fancy points a game. The um, Tampa Bay give it the most fancy points of receivers. 
Um, third worst defense overall, 17.5 fancy points a game, 7.2 targets a game, 89% of the snap. He's on the um, snap count. Um, last two games, average 18, 20, had 18, 29 fancy points. He's going to project to get 13.1 fancy points today. I feel like he would definitely beat that. And Julio at 7000 man. I definitely like playing Julio today. Price tag is too cheap for Julio. No Sherman. Atlanta defense is, I mean, San Francisco defense is banged up. And um, Atlanta got nothing to play for, just pride. So definitely like him Mike M, and um, Matt Ryan for a stack. They will be low on. If they hit, you'll be straight. Also, Tyler Lockett, man, he's been very disappointed. Um, the beginning of the season, he was on fire. He haven't did much, but it should be a bounce-back game for him. Averaging 15.3 fancy points a game. And Jarvis Landry, um, averaging, averaging 15.8 fancy points a game. Um, they got to give it the seven most fancy points to wide receivers, Arizona. Um, Landry has scored double-digit fancy um, numbers every game since week eight. Cardinals has given up eight touchdowns up um, and averaging 118.1 yards a game and 23 fancy points a game. I like um, Jarvis Landry a lot today. I think he will have a fantastic game. And another guy I like, too, Emmanuel Sanders, going against Atlanta, eight worst defense overall to give up the 10 most fancy points of receivers. Averaging 13 fancy points a game, six targets. He's on the field for 74% of the time. He's projected today 13.7 fancy points. Also, um, another guy I like too today, Devontae Parker, 6,400. I like stacking him up with um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's projected today to get 14.2 fancy points a game. I like him a lot. And you got Odell Beckham. Um, do not see the wrong playing Odell too. Um, with Michael Baker Mayfield, Odell just been looking hurt. And they got a sports a sports hernia. He got to get taken care of after the season. He's averaging twelve point two fancy points a game, uh, eight point three targets on the game on the field for ninety six percent of the time. This Odell is not having a good season. Definitely think he will get traded this off season. And Keenan Allen, fantastic matchup going against um Minnesota. Um, I see Keenan Allen um, eight, give it the eight most fancy points to wide receivers, um, averaging 16.5 fancy points in a game um, with 9.2 targets a game. He's on the field for 81% of the time. He's projected today 15.7. He will be probably really low on, I think maybe like 5 or 6% on, but I like him going against Minnesota because um, the corners for Minnesota look bad, man. Uh, Dominique Rose look bad, whatever that guy's name is. He's been looking terrible this year. No Chalk Jr., man. Chris Conley, you got to go get him. D.D. Westbrook, definitely going to be value plays. It's 6,200. Robert Woods, um, averaging 16 fantasy points a game. Definitely like him. Going to have exposure to him. A.J. Brown, 6,000, man. 12.5 fantasy points a game. Like him a lot, but sleeper is Corey Davis. I'm just saying. 3,800 on DK, 5,000 on FanDuel. Golden Tate, another guy I like, too. Averaging 13.8 fantasy points a game with 7.8 targets a game. Second worst defense overall to go with the second most fantasy points of wide receivers. Um, 5,900 on fan on DraftKings. And I think he's um 400 more on FanDuel. So I definitely like Golden Tate Price Tag. And Debo Samuels, I like him a lot going with um him, stacking him one up with Jimmy. Do not sit the wrong with playing them two guys together. And uh, Terry Mc McLaurin, man, I like this guy a lot, man. Going against Darby, who's giving up um, 0 0.65 points per coverage and 2.32 2 points per target, man. So he's going against Darby. Darby suck. He's been getting roasted all year. So I definitely like him a lot, man. I'm playing Terry. And then if I do go Chief, um, Slayton hit a fantastic game last week, but Golden Tate was out. Um, 4,600. I like D.D. Westbrook. Averaging 10.9 fancy points a game, 7.1 pass targets. Second worst defense of all to give up the fifth most fancy points to um, wide receivers who projected today to get 12.12 fancy points. Um, do not see the wrong playing D.D. Westbrook. I also like Mike Will, Mike Williams too. Mike Williams been playing solid, averaging 11.4 fancy points a game going against Minnesota. And you got Perriman with no Mike Evans from – 4,500, cheap play that you can play in lineup, save some cap. Danny Medella, Dan Medola, like him too, 4,100. No um, no Marvin Jones out for the rest of the season. 
And if you did go cheap, another receiver that I do like um, for Philadelphia, Corey Davis, like I told you earlier, got something to fill in about Corey Davis today. I think he's going to have a real good game. And if you want to go cheap, another guy that I like um, for the Philadelphia Eagles, like Chris Conley, 3,600. I'm just throwing you guys value plays out there, man. Take this guy, Whiteside, man. He will be the number one receiver today, man. Three thirty three hundred. That's what I'm saying. I'm just throwing that price tag out there. He's thirty three hundred. I'm just saying, he will be the number one today. I'm gonna go get. I already got Deshaun Watson as my quarterback. I'm gonna go get DeAndre Hopkins, stacking those guys up. And then if I did go get another wide receiver, I'm just gonna give you a core today. I'm not pulling. I'm not building a build today. I'm just looking for like value with a lot of upside. I'm going to get Terry. Tight end position today. Okay, top dog, you got um, Travis Kelsey, um, George Kittle, Zach Ertz. Um, Zach Ertz right now um, sitting at um uh, um, six thousand for average of fifteen point eight fantasy, fifty point one fantasy points a game, nine point two targets a game, eighty six percent of the time snap count, projected fifteen fantasy points a day. Zach Ertz will be a big part of the um offense. They have nobody, everybody hurt on their team, so I definitely like him a lot at the price tag. And you got um, you got Waller averaging fourteen point three fantasy points a game, seven point two targets a game, give up the night most. Night Force defense of all, give up the tip, Tim, Tim most fancy points to um, tight ends. So I like Waller going against Jacksonville. Jacksonville has been terrible. <laughs> then if I go cheap, I like Dallas Goddard too, um, averaging eight point five fancy points a game, five targets, five targets a game, six percent, sixty five percent of snap count. I like him a lot too. Like him and Zach Ertz, like both of those. If you want to be cheaper, Dallas Goddard is a better play. And um, we still got Gasecki, 4,000, averaging 6.8 fantasy points a game. Um, nothing wrong with playing this guy in your lineup. Just be a little different. Greg Olson's already ruled out, so definitely going to have some share of um, him. O.J. Howard, man, DK, 3,500 on DK, 57 on FanDuel. Um, Lions rank 20th to tight ends, so definitely like O.J. Howard for a play. No Mike Evans. And then if I did go cheap, I like this guy right here, man. No Greg Olson. I like Ian Thompson. Thomas. Um, Seattle defense giving up the second most fantasy points per game to tight ends. So I think Ian Thomas will have a fantastic game last week. He will bounce back, man. I think he was a good play for 3,100. 30, 30, well, man, that's about it for the tight end. Well, I like I'm, I'm going to have – I like – oh, yeah, I forgot about Tyler Higby at 3,900. This guy been 22, 27 fantasy points, 8.1. He's averaged 8.5 fantasy points a game, 4.3 targets games on the field for 60% of the times, 60% of the snaps. Um, this guy last last two games have 11 targets, 8 targets. Um, they give the level most fantasy points of tight ends. So um, Dallas, 5 catches and 13 points of tight ends. That's what they're averaging. So I definitely like Tyler Higby today. I'm throwing him in there for the tight end, man. This is just a core that I like. Another wide receiver that I definitely have some exposure to in my lineup today. Jarvis Landry, man. This is like a little core that I'm rocking with, man. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Because there's a lot of direction where you can go with, with receivers. Like I said, like, look, you got Barkley right here, man. You can pivot down here. Have some, go get Chris Carson. There's just a lot, of, a lot of good options, man. Like, if you don't feel comfortable with Jarvis Landry, um, you know, like I said, you'll be comfortable with Jarvis Landry, another guy, um, Devontae Parker, Odell Beckham, Keenan Allen, all of them are in splash spots today. No Chalk Jr., you can go hit the chalk and go get um Conley and go get D.D. Westbrook and just be balanced, man. Them guys will good, good play, good players today. They're playing your lineup. Do not see the wrong with playing those guys. Like, it can be a little different. Save some cap. So, at the end of the day, man, hopefully this was helpful to you. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. I know it's a little late, but good luck, everyone. And um, until next time, I'm out.